Very, very exciting day here at the Glam Jewels studio. I just interviewed Sandy Horn from The Spoons. Oh my goodness. It was amazing. Okay, uh, guess what we're doing now? Sandy's not on Instagram, so I'm giving her a call. And we're going to talk on the phone. And you guys are going to get to hear her beautiful voice. Here we go. Putting on the speakerphone. We are... Dialing up to Sandy Horn. Hi there. Sandy! Hey! <laughs> this is so great. <laughs> so you're on the speakerphone and they get to everyone gets to look at my crimped uh I wanna be Sandy Horn hair. <laughs> okay. Perfect. <laughs> like I said, I really wish I'd had your hair in high school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I had Rob Proust's hair, so that's okay. <laughs> Oh, so listen, what, um, with the new album and everything, what have you got going on this week? What's on your agenda? Well, sure it's basically, I, I just changed my headphones so I can hear you better. Okay. Um, yeah. So with the new album, uh, well, uh, we're just, I had to pause from you from uh, our live show there because I had to speak with uh, the platform that's uh, doing our album and there's a little cover art detail problem, so we've got to sort that out. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. So the vinyl is, just so everybody knows, the vinyl is delayed from the CD. CD is almost here. We should have it this week okay. or early next. Yeah. But, and the digital comes out May 6th, but the vinyl, uh, due to the complication of making vinyl and the backlog of everybody, yeah. the vinyl is like the new thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> new old thing. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um that uh, it, it's going to be delayed by several weeks in comparison to the CD, but that that's fine. Yeah. That's what it is. So there's nothing we can do about it. No, you know? it's worth the wait, and everyone's used to waiting. I mean, what else are we going to do well, <laughs> during I, I know. COVID? And, and, and Elton John got ahead of us, so he, he went first. So, you know, oh, what are we going to do? How <laughs> dare he? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> the nerve. <laughs> the nerve. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, everyone, I have people uh, on Instagram listening right now and uh, they're saying, I prefer vinyl. People are ready to wait for it. So it's all good. Oh, awesome. And yeah. it's double, everybody. It's double vinyl and it's uh, the 18, whatever they call it, thickness. Yeah. So it's a thicker vinyl. Oh, yeah. that's so great. So it's going to be deep and rich. Oh, amazing. Well, in between the, our Facebook interview to now copying on uh, Instagram, I've already got text messages from those high school boys who loved you, who are saying, oh, okay. I will send you money for a signed uh, Spoons album. <laughs> no problem. Uh, we will have it. We'll be posting it shortly. Mm -hmm. And uh, where you can go and get it, we have our own Spoons store on our website. Oh, uh, spoonsmusic.com if you go to our merch section then we have all our merch there we have t-shirts and Gord's book and all our CDs and a, a few LPs are up there and the awesome. new stuff is going to go up there too and we're working on putting together a package oh. for those that are interested with a t-shirt uh, spoons picks like yeah. our guitar picks um, uh, and a vinyl and a CD like there'll be different packages you can get or if oh. you want to switch out something for another, you know, something else from the spoons besides all the stuff that goes with this repeatable, that's fine too. Yeah. So there'll be different avenues for people to go. Oh, that's fantastic. That's great. And will you actually sign the albums for people, Sandy? If Oh, yeah. 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 It'll that's... just, unfortunately, due to COVID and not having access to mm. Rob and Derek and the rest of the spoons that are yeah. playing with us now, which is Chris McNeil and Scott McDonald, mm -hmm. um, we won't be able to get their signatures, but you can get Gordon and mine because we're in contact all the time. Yeah. So I'll drop stuff off at his place. He'll sign oh. stuff and then I'll pick it back up, you know, that kind of thing. That is yeah. so nice. What a nice personal touch. Now, listen, yeah. I got to give you a shameless plug. Okay. Uh, okay. So since the <laughs> pandemic started, uh -huh. um, you know how we're all, we've been talking about how everyone's doing different things. If you're artistic, you know, it can be lots of different, you just figure out and keep recreating. So uh -huh. I've been, um, I've been ghostwriting for people for Instagram. I have like uh -huh. a handful of clients. So if the spoons need an Instagram writer, I could be your girl. If you want some okay. Instagram presence, I'm just putting it out there. 
Okay, I'd love that because I'll tell you, you know, people are saying, oh, you guys just aren't on life platform and blah, 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 blah. It's like, I don't have time to live on my phone and on platforms. I, really I know. <laughs> and, it's and, so- and I find it takes, can often take so much of your time and you get talked to somebody and they want to have lo- long outgoing conversations with you. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't have this time. No. <laughs> you know, no. last night I was, I was trying to catch up on Facebook with people and it's ten thirty quarter to eleven, and I'm like, I can hardly keep my eyes open, guys. I yeah. I gotta stop. <laughs> I know it's a lot. It is. It's a lot, and and Instagram, you know, it's a different platform, but so many people are on it, and um, yeah, I love doing it for for clients because their reason is the same as yours. They're just like. I don't have the time to be managing that, you know, but you want to have the output of this new information and, Mm -hmm. you know, on this new platform, but you got music to make. You don't have time to be doing that. Yeah. Like, I don't know how, what's her name? That country singer. um, I can see her face. Blonde hair, young, maybe in her 20s, mid 20s now. Oh. Acoustic guitar. uh, Oh. Ah! From the States. Yeah. God, I I'm, I think I know who you're talking about, and I can't think of it either. Anyway, she lives yeah. on her phone, and she's talking to her fans all the time because she must have people doing everything else for her. I'm like, how can yeah. you possibly do this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a lot. But it's yeah. the younger generation, too. Well, I wouldn't, I mean, now Instagram, you get all ages, but that younger generation, it's fascinating. It's just like that's how they live is this, like, yeah communication it's a different world for for me you know it's like trying to adapt i was yeah. i mean spoons uh for facebook we had a facebook spoons and gorgeous on for the longest time and i only got on maybe three years ago because i was like this is just too much and even so i'm like i haven't been on facebook for a couple of days i better get on that yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> i know it's crazy yeah, and you know the nice thing about it is that it's it's free to get out your messaging and it's and it's so powerful but yeah the work that goes into like actually keeping on top of it and getting back to people and all this yeah that's a whole other yeah. thing but <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh man, but I love your Facebook page and I think it's great, you know, you're always updating people on yeah. new stuff that's happening and yeah. So you're excited to go back on tour after this is all over? Oh, I'm so ready. Yeah. (laughs) So ready. What's the longest you've ever toured, like, that you've been away from home? Oh, geez, because it's so fit spot. It used to be, like, back in the day, in the 80s especially, um, I would be gone weeks at a time, and then I'd be home for two days. I mean, I still lived at home with my dad. Um and had a room till I was almost 30 because I wasn't home. What yeah. was the point of renting a place if I wasn't there? Right. It was more like a, an, another hotel room to me. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and living out of a suitcase. I had minimal stuff back then. I just had what I was carrying around with me. I didn't have tons of stuff. Now that, yeah. you know, I own a house and everything, I'll go, where the heck did all this stuff come from? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Did I really accumulate in my uh junkie yeah <laughs> a hoarder <laughs> i know i are you big on keeping like old things sandy like like little treasures and stuff from the past or yeah i am yeah, <laughs> yeah. especially with my kids and all the little things they had when like they made me for mother's day and stuff like that you know, I yeah i still have all that they have their first blankets and their first outfits <laughs> Oh, all those mummy things. You know? Of course, it's important. <laughs> but you know, they make you feel so good. I, I wrote a blog on the weekend, and it was all it was all these little. I just took a picture of all these little things I had from the eighties, like this big red bangle bracelet that my Oma had, like in the forties, that she passed down to my mom to wear when she was in high school, and then I got to wear it. And you know, it's like you look at them, and they're they're treasures. Like I value oh, those totally. things. Yeah, they're more important yeah. than anything you'd buy today, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All the stories that go with them. Yeah, yeah, that's so good. Well, I'm so happy that you got to, uh, that you came on today and that we were able to get so much of your time. And um, I really, I, I think we do need to do a part two because... This oh, yeah, storytelling sure. and all of the experiences you've had and 
the amazing things you're doing, you know, it takes longer than an hour or so. Okay. If you're into part two, I'm totally into a part two. I'm totally into part two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, good luck with the album. I will be in touch with you because I definitely want to get that vinyl. Okay. And um, I'll also, I'd also like to be in touch with you. I'll send you an email because I'd love to send you a piece of my jewelry as a thank you for today. And uh, Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice. I would love that. I yeah. love it too. Okay, good. Yeah, so we're okay. gonna have to. Yeah, you'll have to tell me what colors you like and all that kind of thing, and I can show you okay. what I do. And well, now that we know how to reach out to one another, we're yeah. easy to find. Exactly, yeah. we're easy to find. I'm putting you in my address book. You're already in. You're awesome. already in. I already got you done That's, and saved. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Sandy, thank you. Thank you for making this day so wonderful. I'm going to ride this wave for a long time. This has been oh, wow. the most exciting yeah, day you. of COVID yet. <laughs> and if and if it was no COVID, it would be a most exciting day yet as well. Yeah, it'd be nice to be able to one day do this in person as opposed to, you know. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Who knows? Maybe by June we can do that. Oh, that would be nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Putting it out there. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, Sandy, you take it easy. Have a great okay, rest you of your day. You too. Okay. Bye. Bye. Oh, my God. Okay, you guys, that was amazing. Um, oh, you know what, Jack? She was able to pivot to virtual uh, with the music. Sorry, I didn't ask her that question, but um, it is answered in our Facebook Live uh, interview. So, Make sure, um, oh, there, now I can see. Uh, make sure you go and uh, check that out. Um, it was such a good interview, and I will be putting it up on our YouTube channel and making note of it uh, here on Insta. So thanks so much, you guys. That was a lot of fun. Sandy Horn, woo! Talk to you later, and may the fourth be with you.